All right, we took a quick run up here to the off-road shop. I've been driving this high country and I was sitting in the garage and been up here working in the shop and realized it's the exact paint code and color this customer used when they restored the square body that Daniel's been working on. Um, that's a family of square body lovers. They got several and he's put a ton of time into that uh, truck for them. This one here is obviously about the newest you're gonna get. That's one of the oldest. Uh, they do have the round headlight 70s model dually, but that's pretty much one of the earliest square body duallys you will see next to one of the newest. With very similar wheels and tires, 22s versus 24s, but both of them are American forces. Um, both of them have about the same amount of height of lift. One's just got a little bit newer amenities on the inside, but don't count out the square body because they went really custom on the inside of that. So. And you'll tell you a few of the punch points on what he's done to that one and you know kind of what this one's sitting on just so you know what's up guys uh so like the w said both of them very similar the new truck it's got a seven inch kit um it's got 24s on it 37s it's a really nice combination super drivable super towable very you know normal for for lack of better words nowadays so uh we did did the setup on this truck custom traction bars uh, it's been done for for a little while now but it's uh it's still the most current body style so bringing it over to the square body like he said just oddly enough almost identical trucks just lots and lots of years apart uh, we did a full four-wheel drive conversion on this truck it was a c30 super clean truck customers had it color swapped from white to the new current gm dark blue uh, eight inch kit Dana 60 front, Dana 70 back, 456 gears, King reservoir shocks, crossover steering, track bar setup, uh, hydraulic assist, 496 blueprint big block, making about 650 horsepower. Custom power steps that we made brackets for and installed, and they look just like they were meant to be on the truck. Full custom interior. Come around and check that out. Mm -hmm. All cowhide leather, dash, seats, even the door panels are wrapped in the same setup. These guys go all out. They touch every square inch of their trucks and it shows. It's got the super duly set up, 22s on this one, super duly 24s on the new truck. It's, it's all there, very cool. Two different, not your everyday trucks at the same spot at the same time. All right, Daniel ran out of stuff. Yep. That's when he stops. <laughs> he could do the thumbs up. At least we know he's done, but he just stops. So, no, we figured it'd be cool to catch both of these together. They're really, like I said, this dually here, I've been driving it like it's an everyday driver. You can put a trailer behind it. We've had a uh, couple trailers behind it. Matter of fact, it's got a hitch in it right now. It'll probably still do fifth wheel gooseneck. Uh, it's got a set of traction bars on the back. Both of them got the pin differential covers. A lot of, a lot of features beyond just lift kit wheels and tires and stuff. But that square body, uh, Daniel's gonna drop a video on the other uh, YouTube page of the full build. Very similar to what we're doing to the uh, ten door Suburban right now, with a full two wheel drive to four wheel drive swap. Uh, which requires transmission, transfer case, drive shafts, front axle to be hung, and a ton of work because I've had to help for once and it's a lot of work. So you don't really want to do it if you don't have to. Uh, but that's made this truck a show truck. I mean, these people have probably got a hundred grand in that truck, but you know, it's, it's worth it. They bring it all day long to the right person. And you know, if you don't understand what goes into doing one of those projects, it's like building a truck from scratch. It's a ton of effort. Uh, both of them have undercarriage lights, rock lights, glow lights. This one's got wheel lights. So, you know, all the other doodads that can be done. So once you lift the wheel and tire your truck, there's still plenty more that can happen on top of it. So uh, anything you need, they can take care of here. And uh, stay tuned for some more of the other build videos coming at you.